Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're tuning in to AMTV Alternative Media Television. First off, I want to say Happy New Year 2014. Thank you again for all of your support, all of you that have tuned in over the past three and a half, going on four years. I really appreciate it. You make this show possible. You make alternative media television possible possible. So please pat yourself on the back. Thank you again from the bottom of my heart for making uh, this a viable uh, form of media to get out to the viewing public. Also, before we get started, please support our sponsor, goldsilver.com. Our friend uh, Mike Maloney, his official website. Check him out. Uh, get free shipping on all gold bullion through the end of the month, January 31st. Enter the promo code AMTVFREE, that's AMTVFREE, and get free shipping on gold bullion and other precious metals at goldsilver.com. Give them a call, lock in prices today over the phone or on their website. So how far does the rabbit hole really go? I mean, how deep does this dig? And the answer to it is, it's almost unfathomable. Uh, even for people like me that study this on a full-time basis, you know, uh, you read books like The Creature on Jekyll Island uh, by G. Edward Griffin, for example, and it gives you just a sneak peek. It's a, you know, five, six hundred page book, and it gives you just a little itty bitty sneak peek of how sinister uh, this really is, how purely evil it is. It's an extraction of wealth and money from the American people and citizens of the world. And people constantly are asking me, Christopher, you know, what is the objective? Uh, what's the reason? What is the new world order trying to accomplish? Uh, what's the great conspiracy? Well, it is a wealth extraction, folks. Uh, it is basically taking the United States from a sovereign nation, uh, destroying it covertly from the inside out. Uh, people like Edward Griffin, G. Edward Griffin argue it's socialism. I would argue this is really covert fascism, the merger of corporate America with the state. You know, billionaires worth $30 billion. People like Michael Bloomberg, who's now sailing out into the sunset. Now we have de Blasio, you know, who kind of fits the perfect mold of what socialist America looks like today. And you see, the people are giving up their freedom willingly. They're giving up their wealth willingly because they do not understand basic concepts and principles. Things like inflation. I mean, I can honestly have conversations with people trying to explain the concept of inflation, show it to them, draw it to them, put it in charts, and they still don't get it. They still don't understand that they're being raped. They still don't understand that they're being robbed. Uh, they don't understand the Federal Reserve. They don't even know that it's not federal, uh, that it's not a reserve. It doesn't have any gold bullion on hand or any other kind of asset to back it. Uh, they don't understand the concept of fiat money fiat currency, uh, creating money out of thin air. They don't understand the institutions that are the IMF, the criminal institutions that are the International Monetary Fund uh, that manages uh, monetary policy of creating fake money out of thin air, loaning it out to other countries through the World Bank. Uh, which basically has created an indebtedness across the globe that makes these other countries our bitch. So we own Africa and we own uh, Asia and these other parts of the world through a global integration. And this is what it's all about. You know, conspiracy nuts, conspiracy theorists uh, call it the new world order, but this really just is the policy in place today. Uh, to basically covertly socialize, I would argue this is covert fascism. So fascize Americans and America itself by liquidating its assets from the middle class to the very top 0.001%. They funnel the money right up the tree. I mean, it's exactly what happened in 2008 with the bailouts, but that's just one of many excessive bailouts that have taken place throughout history. Bailout is the name of the game, folks. This is how it works. And then through the sinister vehicle of inflation, they extract more and more wealth from you over time to the point where America no longer has its sovereignty. It, it no longer is America. America, which is basically where we are today. We, we're globally integrated through NAFTA and these other agreements across the globe, and we become one. And when we're suffering and the American people are so destitute that there's only a top 0.01% wealthy elite and the rest of everybody is poor, and we've seen this in history before, when you're standing in a bread line, you're much more susceptible to uh, what the government tells you. You're much more susceptible when they put a gun to your head, uh, physically or just through the fact that you've been starved to death. Uh, dictators like Mao knew this. This is why he starved his people. Uh, other dictators throughout history implemented the same kind of game plan, starved the people into 
submission. Whether or not it's literal starvation or it's uh, starvation through monetary policy and the extraction of wealth from everyday Americans, you and I. So how do we combat this? I mean, how do we do this? How do we fight an authoritarian, a wheelian police state uh, where the NSA is, you know, wiretapping our phone lines and investigating Americans as their common criminals that anyone that would associate themselves with the concept of liberty and freedom or the Constitution itself is somehow now an enemy of the state. How do we combat this? Well, I think that the steps needed to take are, we really need an intellectual revolution in this country. We need, we need to educate more people. We need to enlighten them. We need to make it mainstream. Uh, you know, we need to make it and get it to a point where, uh, you know, could you imagine if in reality TV and what people focus on, like the Kardashians and these, these other shows that are so mainstream, if somebody was able to take this pop, if somebody was able to take the liberty movement mainstream, bigger than anything we've ever seen before, bigger than Ron Paul revolution, bigger than any of these things that we're still considered counterculture, in the feds considered counterculture. What if we were able to mainstream it covertly or overtly? You know, whether or not it's a Fabian uh, socialist perspective where it's a covert operation, you know, just like Obama took power, just like he was able to seed himself covertly, or it was an overt, overt operation. Uh, you know, made and pointed out bluntly to the American people. So they thought it was cool to end the Federal Reserve. They thought it was cool to, well, not lose their wealth, uh, to maintain the dominance and sovereignty of the United States of America or the respective countries. This is not just American-centric. And you see these institutions like the IMF and the World Bank haven't done what their stated goal is, what they've pitched to the public. You know, oh, we want to loan out money to these un under impoverished uh, nations so that they can create, you know, a better economy for themselves. No, it's done the exact opposite. It's bankrupted nations. It's bankrupted countries. It's bankrupted these blocks of the world. So they're indebted to us. Again, this is a filtration system, folks, straight to the top, straight to the top, 0.01%. And it is exactly the agenda. It's the unstated agenda of the New World Order, of the Illuminati, of the power brokers that run the world. While they're dining on their scotches and their fancy cigars and driving and wearing their bulletproof vests and driving their phantoms across the street, as I'm sure Mayor Bloomberg, the $30 billion heir who's on the outs, you know, now we got de Blasio coming in and we've got the Clintonistas coming in. I couldn't think of an even more sinister group than these people. I couldn't think of a more sinister clan. You know, the Philander Bill getting his you-know-what wet with Hillary Clinton while he's in the White House lying to the American public like it's a sport. Yet the American people continue, continue to bend over to this tyranny. I say no more. I say we have an intellectual revolution. I think it's already occurring. You know, I was having breakfast the other day. I took a little bit of a vacation. Someone came up to me and said, wow, Chris. I'm so excited to meet you. I've never met you before and I'm a big fan and we get together. We have discussions all the time. We get together in a local bookstore. We watch your videos. We play other videos uh, like yours. We talk about what's going on. You see that folks is changing something and that was so cool to see that in real life. To see the fire in somebody's eyes. The passion in their gut. You see we are changing things folks. You're changing things. You're making this possible. You make AMTV possible. You make alternative media, television possible. My heart goes out to you. Thank you so much. We're going to have a fantastic year this year. Click the link below to support our sponsor, hard-hitting and in-your-face as usual. I'm Christopher Green. Make it viral.